in 1994, a teacher, a school teacher, fourth grade school teacher from Northern Ireland. Her name is Anna Lisa Flanagan. She set the record for the loudest voice ever recorded. 121.7 decibels, which is equal to a jet engine or a rock concert. She has a twin sister, and she barely beat out her twin sister for this record. So both of them have that gift. Now, here's what I want to ask you. Can anyone guess what word this school teacher said at the highest level ever recorded? That's it. She said, quiet. Isn't that funny? You're setting a record for the loudest noise for a person, and the word that you say is quiet. But she did it. Now, you might work on it this weekend, and you can get in the Guinness Book of, of World Records if you, can, if you can go higher than 121.7 decibels. But I thought about that, and it does strike me as funny that she would say the word quiet uh, in setting this record. But I got thinking about that a little bit more, and it just kind of reminded me that that's really what the devil's trying to tell us as Christians. And he's doing it in as loud a voice as possible. Be quiet. Because he doesn't want us to share the message of Jesus Christ. But folks, we have a message that we cannot afford to be quiet about. Brother Bill is teaching on Sunday mornings from the book of Ezekiel. And one of the things that we learn about Ezekiel is that this prophet who is referred to as the Son of Man throughout the entire book, is said to be a, a watchman on a tower. At least twice, Ezekiel is told about this responsibility that he has to sound the warning. In Ezekiel chapter 3, in verses 17 through 21, and then again in Ezekiel 33, and verses 7 through 9. Here's what the second passage says. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. That's the job of a watchman, to sound the warning. If he fails to sound the warning, all that perish are upon him. But God tells Ezekiel, if you will give them my word, their blood will not be on your hands. My friends, there's a real sense in which all of us as Christians, people who have obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ, are watchmen. And we need to sound the warning to those around us. We pray that all who hear will respond by turning from their own way and turning to Christ's way where there is salvation. But it's our responsibility to be those watchmen. And we can't be quiet. So you can go ahead and laugh about that teacher who, who set a record by yelling the word quiet. Next time, moms, you have to do it, you might think, I, might bro I just broke her record. But also let it remind us that there's something that we can't be quiet about, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's why at a time like this, when we come together in a midweek service, we still 
offer this invitation that's open unto all to come unto Christ as penitent believers, confessing Him before men and with that desire to be baptized for the remission of sins. And we'll help you in your obedience to the gospel. If you're one who has obeyed, but you've fallen away and you need to come back, we want to pray with you and for you. So will you think about that? If you need to respond, you do that now as together we stand and sing.